Bach says, does anyone here experience the legitimate email suddenly getting into quarantine? We have been using 365 for how many years? And recently, all our incoming mails are going to quarantine with spam and high confidence spam tag. We never modify or add any policy. We've been using the default anti-spam policy in Microsoft Defender. Now all legitimate emails need to release and we need to monitor the quarantine from time to time. I tried bypassing the policy using the bypass spam filter to specific receiver, but some incoming mails to the specific mail with rules still goes to quarantine. I need your expert advice and help. Yeah, this is one of those things where, you know, I've not changed anything. So clearly Microsoft did something or changed something or Never something happens. else. <laughs> or just maybe, just maybe somebody of importance in the office got themselves a Samsung phone. Uh, Samsung or... smartphones move email to the junk folder. It's uh, a little thing that uh, Diane Peremsky came up with. And um, in spite of what all you might have or where all you might have it set, if you've got one of these Samsung phones and it says, send this thing to the trash, it goes to the trash. And it, it has thrown people to all kinds of loops. I mean, that's, that's, that's one of my little favorites. I, somebody says, it's all of a sudden moving stuff crazy. And it's always, the, it's terrible. You've got a Samsung phone. Why? Well, yes, I do. <laughs> so I, need, I pointed I need... at this article. Um, I need one of those for all of Christian's emails. <laughs> one other little tidbit is that uh, the, the classic Outlook will uh, give you a hint as to what is moving your mail. If uh, Outlook moves it, it, it has a little burb at the bottom that says, this message was marked as spam using the Outlook junk e email filter. If it didn't move it, the message that you get is, this move message was marked as spam using a junk from filter other than the Outlook junk filter. And if Outlook doesn't know, it doesn't put anything. So. So that, well, this is the standard troubleshooting of that. If you, you know, you, you look at like what changed. So one, you read the messages as Hal just pointed out. You look at, it'll tell you why it's in spam. If it's, if it doesn't have the message, if Outlook doesn't know, then you look at what changed. Was it a Samsung device? Was it, you know, what, again, was there something, you know, go look at the, on the network side, did Microsoft change? Was there an update? Was there something else that, that changed there? But yeah, I mean, you oh. just, you, you have to get in and troubleshoot. It doesn't just, I mean, you can't blame sunspots all the time. No, <laughs> but you could, you could in fact blame um, from a uh, provider standpoint. So some ISP providers will actually have spam filters that filter out the use the DNS blacklist or the email blacklist before the mail even gets to you. If you mm -hmm. subscribe to a service like that, like, oh. you know, uh, Charter was a big proponent of that. So, you, mm -hmm. you know, um, so that 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 is a possibility. Inf for, but from a business standpoint, that shouldn't be happening. The infamous RBL. Yeah. <laughs> All my mail spam, have, it should just go there anyway. So I have all of his <laughs> albums, the infamous RBL. Yeah. <laughs> it's less clean up that way, right, Christy? Uh, yeah, that's it. If it's just in there, list. it starts from there. <laughs>